Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood pedophile with a new bag of candy for all those who are willing to get in my car. But seriously, Stuff King 56 with a Halo Reach commentary. As you can see, I just downloaded the beta, and I'm going to speed it up a little bit for the sake of time, but I'll let you watch the opening cutscene. It's a pretty cool little cutscene there, uh, interesting opening, and here you see me getting into my first game ever on Halo Reach. It is a one flag CTF on the powerhouse. Um, this is a huge map, and I will be using a various amount of classes uh, because this is, once again, my first game, and I have many, many uh, different tastes, and I wasn't sure which one I'd like, so let's get ready for some Halo. But... You guys want my first impressions. You guys don't want good gameplay, right? Of course not. So, fail to beat down as I get grenaded by my team. First impressions on Halo Reach. Um, hate me for this, love me for this. I don't know. I'm trying to be realistic here. I'm not trying to fall into the ooh ah phase of, ooh, a new beta. Ooh, it looks so nice. But I'm really trying to be realistic here. And when I say realistic, I mean I'm just taking everything in as it is and I'm just trying to evaluate it without any emotion because if you guys all know Halo makes everyone very emotional people and uh, can skew opinions based on poor performance so when I say when I talk about the beta I am not very impressed um, I like it I like playing it it's uh, it's it's, it's addicting uh, part of my stutter it's addicting, but I'm not very impressed with how they did some of the aspects of the gameplay here. Uh, first thing I want to say is uh, guard sucks. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, I hate guard. Guard sucks. Um, so now that's out of the way, I'm sure you'll hear that from a lot of people too. But, mm. excuse me again. But, I want to talk about the weapons first of all, and then I will divulge into other topics from there. Um, the weapon balance. I do not think the weapons are really balanced at all. I think they're going to be forced to make a lot of changes, and I think they are. It's a necessity to fix what they uh, not isn't necessarily broken, but uh, could be a lot better. And when I say it could be a lot better, it could make the gameplay experience a lot more easier. And if anything could make sense, it could make the gameplay uh, make a lot more sense, if that makes sense. And I thought I killed that guy there, but apparently when you drop someone in out of their shields, uh, when you beat them down, it doesn't work. So, gun balance. What do I want done? Well, first of all, the DMR and the pistol and the needle rifle need to be fixed. And when I say need to be fixed, I mean I want the recoil time to be reduced and I want the recoil in general to be reduced. I want them to be able to shoot faster and I want them to have a bigger damage buff uh, from range because they're quote unquote precision weapons. That means you should be using them from range. And there's an example why I hate guard. But you should be using these weapons from range. You shouldn't... Um, be using the assault rifle for range so why not uh reduce the recoil time because i die so many times from shooting someone repeatedly with a dmr or a pistol and dying because i didn't wait that extra millisecond to get that headshot and that kind of makes me angry i mean it is what it is it's only a beta so i, I expect great things from this game but it's only a beta in the beta phase, and a lot of things need to be fixed. Like right there, that should all be shots taken, not shots missed. And assault rifle is another huge topic with me. It's a big, uh, I have a big bone to pick with Bungie on the assault rifle. Um, although nothing seems like it's changed, it seems like the range of the assault rifle has been increased a severe amount. Um, and I say that because I've been dying in long quarters battles, not short quarters battles, in long range distance battles, from 
uh, from assault rifle, getting shot with the assault rifle. That's ridiculous. I don't think that's fair, and I don't like it at all because I think that um, the assault rifle should be have less range, but more power from short range. So it makes everyone happy. It should only be a short, uh, yeah, should only be a close quarter weapon. So why not? make it so it's that and not a mid to long range weapon because they feel like it and that brings me to another topic as you watch me die there is the grenades which are insanely ridiculous in this game not only do they do a lot of damage they bounce and they travel very far and i do not like getting grenaded multiple times and i do not like dying uh, majority of the times from grenades as opposed to it is from an actual weapon and one thing I think they can also fix is the sprint I believe you should be able to sprint longer as well as Covenant should be able to ev evade three times until their meter is out as opposed to two times I think guard should be buffed like a, or guard should be nerfed like I said and I think that uh, jetpack is fine uh, stalker is great I don't know what everyone hates stalker I think it's an awesome perk perk i mean talking about call of duty here oh my god yeah i think it's an awesome perk i think it's really good for uh, those mlg sneaky types and even for um guys that just want to scramble their base while you guys are trying to make a move in on them i also want to talk about the new scoring and credit system as well as the xp system I like how they made levels uh, leveling based on uh, how you do in games as opposed to how many games you win and how many games at a high level you win. Because that is more conducive to uh, noobs and it's also helpful for everyone because everyone's going to be able to rank up and play everyone of their own skill because those who do better are going to get more points faster. And it's not going to be like ridiculous like... Um, what am I thinking? It's not going to be ridiculous like Halo 3. There aren't going to be people boosting for credits because it's just not, it doesn't make sense. It's just stupid. It's a dumb idea. So, what was I going to say? This kid doesn't really know how to use his uh, power ups here, but that's okay. I also want to talk about, like I said, uh, credits, but more along the lines of armor. I like how they do the armor thing, but I wish that uh, all your hard work would be rewarded as opposed to penalized. Not really penalized, but. It's just wasting credits when you want to buy stuff because it doesn't help you at all and I don't understand why it shouldn't like give you a little extra damage resistance or maybe in, in the actual game there will be a helmet with visor uh, that costs a lot of credits which would be pretty cool and I think if there's a bunch of night maps that those helmets should be available because it adds a whole new thing to the gameplay. And even if you don't want to be historically in historical context with Halo Reach, uh, I think the visors would be a great addition to this game. And especially with uh, snipers and stuff, it'll help you uh, scout the enemy a lot uh, better than you used to do. And I also like the commendations part, and I try to make this jump multiple times, but I fail multiple times. But I like the commendations aspect of the game. Um, and what I mean by commendations is... If you have the beta, go on a Bungie.net on your account for Reach and look up the commendation section. And you'll notice two in a game if you get a commendation, but I'll explain that later. A commendation is when you... It, it's basically your challenge from COD, um, from Call of Duty. Based on how many headshots you get or killing sprees you get or assists you get, you get extra credits after a certain amount. So let's say over time I get 50, uh, 50 assists. Why not? So 50 assists, right? I think, and then after a while, you get the commendation for 50 assists, and you get an extra credit bonus, and you'll get extra, um, more credits for the end of the game, which will help you level faster. And that helps um, the leveling system, because it seems like it's going to be terribly take terribly long to level up. But we'll see after uh, some of the longer game types, like Invasion, come out. And... Um, I also think this map should have another sniper on the left side as opposed to only the focus rifle. Uh, and when I mean the left side, I mean to my left right now. And, um, excuse me, I think uh, this map's too big just to have the focus rifle and the rocket launcher. I think it needs a little extra pop, and that will help with more of the range fighting because this map is a very good uh, mix of close quarter, mid-range, and long-range battle. I want you to me snipe this kid right here. 
Just one after another. Just light them up right here. And that's why the pistol should have less recoil. I could have killed him faster, which would have prevented the flag cap right there. And I think that, um, like right here, I should have killed that guy. But because of recoil, I couldn't kill that guy, which allowed them to cap the flag and us to lose the game. Sorry, spoiler, but that's okay. Um, but it allows them to cap the flag and we lose the game and like I was expecting to win, but we lost the game. And here's the menu system, which I like so much. It's very crisp and I like it a lot. Um, as you can see, I think that's a very nice aesthetic value to the game. And I think it brings a lot more to the table as far as, uh, graphics go. So this video is coming to an end. I am King 56 with all of your Halo Reach, Call of Duty, and Rock Band needs. I want you guys to comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great afternoon, night, and uh, rest of the week. So, see you guys, and peace.